idea of romance up there? My idea of romance is conversation over food, good food. Oh wow, that's interesting. Because I, I'm a Bengali and I'm a foodie and I think that romance really happens when you're mentally very happy and nothing makes me more happy than good food. Uh, so what roles do love and affection play in your life? Very important because love and affection are very nurturing qualities and without love and affection creativity cannot withstand. So, what's your first memory of love? First memory of love. First memory of love. Let me think. Oh my god! I think there was this girl. Uh, there was this girl in my school called Vaishali. She had. She she was bald and she used to wear a scarf and she used to sit next to me. And she looks at me one day and she says, "You know when we." Uh, you sh when you grow up, you shall get married to me. And I was completely taken aback by her confidence because nobody had ever spoken to me like that. And that's when I first realized that, oh my God, you know, I think, I don't know if I was in love or I was intimidated completely by the brashness of that girl, but that was the first memory I would say. Wow. Uh, what's the first thing you notice in a woman? I think her her sense of dignity. I think it, it, it I think she walks in with it into the room. Wow. Uh, Sabya, I've been meaning to, uh, you know, I've, I'm a big fan of yours and it's really an honor to be in your presence. You have this certain aura about you, you know, like everybody is always like, oh, Sabya, I need a picture. In fact, I've just been seeing and you know, the queue outside your stall. So, uh, are you overwhelmed? How do you feel about it? What's your take? Oh, I actually find it very amusing because, you know, I grew up uh, penniless and my uh, father comes from a family of educationists, my mother come from, comes from a family of doctors. So education has been very high in our family. I'm the first person who got into business. So it still doesn't sink in that this is actually happening and I sometimes find it actually ridiculous. <laughs> not for us, not for the fans. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, so uh, your eternal news. I think I can guess this one but... Frida Kahlo? Yeah, Frida yes. Kahlo. <laughs> so I always say that again and again. <laughs> yeah. And your current news. My current muse, you know, my current muse will always be my eternal muse, Frida Kahlo. I've all, every time I do collections, it's inspired by her and by the Indian painter Amrita Shergill. Okay, that's something I didn't know. But, uh, okay, fine, answers my question. Your take on recycling uh, your mom's or, or a mother's bridal sari or like I think it's love, compassion and respect put together. And in today's day and age, Recycling is such a beautiful thing to do because you know you're keeping your family values and your traditions alive. Um, so who or what do you visualize when you start a collection? The customer, in customer who's going to buy it because sometimes designers can be very arrogant and they say okay this is what I design and that is what you have to wear. That is a, a little bit of a dominating attitude. I think it's very important to understand that you have to have a certain sense of compassion because women come in all shapes and sizes with all sorts of insecurities and securities and it's very important to take stock of that because you have to understand that you're dealing with a human being and not with an inanimate object so it's important to be kind okay all right um, and then uh, what's the sabesachi kind of woman well the sabesachi woman is someone who's kind who loves being loved who loves uh, eats doesn't diet <laughs>, laughs a lot if she's five feet one wears flats to a party Clothing is important but not very important, loves go good things in life but it is not that important that she will sacrifice other meaningful things like good food, holidays, friends, children, just to be fashionable. Awesome. Uh, what do you love about Indian weddings? The madness. I think that's what I like and I also like the fact that these are the only little bit of celebrations where Indians are not ashamed of exploring their culture. So, uh, Bollywood, who would you pick? What's your...? Well, I have a lot of friends in Bollywood, so I can't answer this question <laughs> because I dress up a lot of these girls. But if I were to pick somebody in Bollywood, it would always be Rani because, you know, she's been my friend, my mentor. She's got me into this industry. Earlier on, I used to be recognized in the whole of the country as Rani Mukherjee's tailor. And I'm forever indebted to her because 
she made me uh, a national name and uh, we have gone through our personal highs and lows in our respective careers but we've always stuck to each other.